it's a lighting lotion and one thing i love about this skin doctor lotion is that it's for face and body back to my channel if you're just stopping by for the first time you are highly welcome my name is Cassie and you're welcome to this beautiful family so guys if you are a subscriber already thank you so much for subscribing I love you guys you guys are amazing and for those who just coming in for the first time please subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe button on your phone and subscribe turn on your bell notification to be notified whenever there's an upload coming from me okay so guys in today's video I'm going to be talking about something um, it's like form of question i'm going to be responding to some questions um i've been trying to respond to them but i feel responding on the comment section sometimes is not enough so i'm going to be responding to some of them not all of them and i'm going to also be dropping some recipe of some questions i don't know if it's a question some people ask me to make a particular recipe so i'm going to be dropping that also so guys um the first question here somebody asks on the comment section is can we review on skin doctor lotion yes i was supposed to review on this lotion but i always forget so i want to make a review on it first before moving to other questions so i'm going to be giving a full account on this particular skin doctor lotion this skin doctor lotion is a very very good lotion yes it's a lighting lotion and one thing i love about this skin doctor lotion is that it's for face and body Yes, this lotion is for both face and body. It means you can use it on your body and you can use it on your face. It's a very, very good lotion. It has SPF 30, but I will not advise you to use this lotion while going out in the sun. Because if you do, hmm, the sun ray is going to affect your skin. It's going to destroy your skin. It's going to give you sunburn and it's going to give you so many bad skin reactions. So just because it has SPF 30 does not mean the SPF is much and you can use it and go out in the daytime. See that I will not advise you to use this lotion and go out in the daytime. I will advise you to use this lotion at night. At night is very, very good. Okay, this lotion also has which as that, which is very, very good for the skin, good for the face. That's why it's good for the face as well because it has which as that. If you know what which as that can do to your face, it can help clear pigmentation, acne, pimples, and the red. So this lotion has which as that inside. This lotion is nice and it's really, really amazing. It's really amazing. It's a good lotion. But one thing I'll say about this lotion, it's a very, very slow lotion. Like when it comes to lightning, it's very, very slow. It's, you have to use this lotion for up to like one month or there about before you start seeing very visible and massive results and massive, um, I don't know, massive results and changes on your skin like in terms of lightning so you will have to consider adding oils into this cream i some few oils because this oil this cream has oil already so if you want to add oil you have to add just few oils into it so that it can boost the effectiveness of the cream because this cream is really really slow when it comes to lightning and i would say that this cream is a maintenance cream as well if you're that type that is already fair 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 and you want to maintain your skin you can use the skin doctor to kind of maintain your color yes it's a maintain maintenance cream as well as the maintenance lotion sorry as well this skin doctor is very very good when it comes to maintaining the skin but when it comes to lightning it's extremely slow like really really slow so you will have to consider adding adding sorry oils or powders or serums to it to boost it but mind you add just a little of it if you're not that has excess, excessive dry skin i would suggest you use this lotion sorry this lotion is really really good for dry skin it's very very good for dry skin this lotion has three different color but i prefer the gold one which I already left on the screen it has different color but i prefer the good one so for me i would really love if you want to use this lotion you can use it with the face cleanser it has a face cleanser which is the skin doctor face cleanser you can just combine it with the face i'm not saying you should pour the face cleanser inside the lotion no i'm saying that for your face you can use it to wipe your face for applying the cream on your face that is if you want to apply the cream on your face but personally for me I will not advise you apply this cream on your face at all no 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 i will not advise you apply this cream on your face because applying cream body lotion or body cream on your face is very very bad it's not good it's my end of damaging your face and also 
another thing is not likely to cause any stretch mark or green vein yes this cream doesn't cause stretch mark it doesn't cause green thing it doesn't now let's move to the next question guys this video is going to be long just pardon me can you make a carrot based cream yes i can make a i can show you guys how to make a carrot based cream if you want to make a carrot lotion you can make a base cream first and start adding the other ingredients i posted on how to make a carrot body butter so the first ingredients you will need for this carrot base cream you will need your base cream okay if you want to make a base if you want to use a base cream already made base cream it's fine by you but for me i prefer using shea butter shea butter as my base cream because it's a moisturizing body butter carrot body butter that you want to use this base cream for but i would suggest to use a, 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 a shea butter that is very very fine but if you want to use an, an already made cream it is fine now what you will need to do you will need to pour your car your shea butter or any of your base cream into your bowl then grate two carrots yes grate two carrots and do a carrot oil using sesame oil please do not use coconut oil on this one use a sesame oil to fry your carrot sieve it out and get the oil leave it in the fridge for like let's say 30 minutes it will solidify then add it to your base cream then use an mixer an electric and mixer do not use uh, just spoon to mix it no it will not mix very well use electric and mixer to mix that's your share that, that's your shea butter which is your base cream and your solidified carrot oil together mix it together then add a little bit of glycerin into the cream and add preservative mix it together then your carrot base cream is ready then now uh, you can now make the body butter i posted some few days ago using those ingredients add those ingredients and mix together so it is very very easy to make it is super easy okay that is it for the carrot base cream now moving to the next question is um okay i posted a correction on the fashion fair not fair and white lotion so i posted a video of how i mix my body my whitening body cream so i made a mistake yes i made a mistake on calling the tube fair and white why the tube is fashion fair guys and uh, that day i didn't even take note of it and the funny part i even rewatched the video i didn't really take note of the mistake and i've been having so many correction in that video people have been saying most of my friends my subscribers have been saying it is fashion fair guys i know it's fashion fair seriously i know it's just a slight mistake pardon me that's it for that and the next question is how do you attain a flawless skin so guys i've had so many of this question like how do i attain a flawless skin i will say this it's not been easy yes like really it's not really easy but one thing i'll say is that i am um, I'm a fair person from onset like I was born fair because my dad is fair So but my mom is dark. I was born fair. I'm a fair girl But it's just that my color my fairness was not that obvious like it was not that sharp compared to now So before I, I got into skincare, I have used lots when I was in school I have used lots of product. The only look I had was that my skin eh, it didn't it, it's real to things on time But it didn't give me stretch mark I was just lucky if not with the way i was changing cream then hi i believe i would have had massive stretch mark all over my body from head to toe but thank god it didn't happen that way so and i was able to correct myself on time so i had stretch mark from two products i use um i had uh, i used the clinical cream which is the most hated cream in my life and perfect white those two cream if you see them run away from them. if you see them in the cosmetic store run away from those two cream clinically and perfect why those are the cream that gave me stretch mark at my back of my leg which is almost invisible now okay so before i got into skincare i've used lots of products and some work for me some cause so many skin reaction but not stretch mark apart from those two two stupid creams so that's it so if you want to attain this flawless skin you need to be consistent and you need to also scrub your skin a lot some people want to attain they want to have this fine skin type flawless skin type but they don't like to scrub if you have a whitening cream i would advise you always scrub your skin for like a week scrub your skin for three times a week it is very very important that way it helps to open the pores of your skin and it says it's a product to go in naturally so i'm going to be showing you a few products of mine that i use on my skin and how i attain this uh, flawless skin so i am still using 
my pure egyptian magic whitening cream which i posted you can go check that video out on how i'm mixing that is my body cream i'm using i also posted the scrub i'm using i'm going to bring some of the products i'm using but though some are finished and i threw some kind away like my cream is finished i'm going to get another one by tomorrow so i'm just going to show you guys some little of my uh skincare product that i use on my skin let me go and bring them guys so guys i'm back okay so i have some few products here that i use on my skin so i'm just going to show you guys this is the first one i'm going to be showing you guys this is my body scrub the um caribbean body scrub this is a tomato i love buying this tomato scrub this scrub not only lighten your skin it glows your skin as well and gives you that fine looking skin if you use this scrub and use the lightning cream sweetheart you are going to even achieve more than my complexion like this this crop is very very good so if you are thinking of getting an already made crop i would advise you go for this look at this caribbean ah, light rays more too caribbean cream i advise you go for this go for this crop it is very very nice then i use i i talked about this soap before i use for my skin the black soap i normally use the cottage black soap but i don't have that one so i bought this one in place of it you can go get yours at your cosmetic store and but i really, really advise that you get the cottage soap because if you want to lighten you want to achieve my comp like my complexion i would advise you get the cottage soap or you make your which are proper black soap which i posted in my channel but if you cannot make them that one just get get the cottage soap of the this one the cottage soap i use this cottage soap but i can't find the cottage so that's why i bought this one and for my face i use this scrub scent eyes i don't know you guys i don't know if i'm turning the mirror upside down but this is the face scrub i use on my face yes scent eyes face scrub this is what i use to scrub my face and i use this one on my face for just let's say two times a week i don't use it more than that please i don't want to cause any reaction on my face and too much scrubbing of your face can make your face red i use this one i use this this scrub to scrub my face you can go get yours and if i have pigmentation on my face like little spots pimples and the rest i use from a to clear it or i use skinny look at the from Bate. i've already used it because i noticed some little spot on my face i use this one to clear it. so these are the few products i use on my skin so i would advise that you as a lady you need to scrub your skin very well if you are using a lotion and it's not working for you and you see that lotion working for somewhere else i would advise you scrub your skin use a good exfoliating lightning scrub to scrub your skin before applying your product on your body it is very very important okay it is super duper important it is important to use your body scrub and i've said um little about my cream i use you can check my video that's the cream i use for my skin and i'm not changing it anytime soon i'm not changing because i've not seen any bad effect it has been good effect but before i was before i started using the magic white cream i was using jara jara cream jara cream was very very good as well it's a very very good cream just as way i mixed the the magic white cream yeah, sorry, Egyptian magic white cream. I also miss the Jara that way. So you can get any of the cream. They are very good, very, very good. The other reason I stopped using Jara is because it makes me sweat a lot. So add, the next question is, how did you get rid of dark knuckles? I posted a video of how you can get rid of your dark knuckles. I have, um, um what's it called? You can use Fashion Fair uh, Jet Tube. You can use um, Fair and White Jet Tube. You can use Koji Clear uh, tube. You can use New Light tube. All those tubes, you can use them. You can actually mix them together. But if you want to mix them together, it has to be half, half. Then apply on the places where you have dark knuckles. Just apply it there and leave it till the next morning. Before one week, two weeks, you see massive change on it. And but if you know you don't want to use tube, you can use serum. I use sometimes. I love using this serum clear serum not the cream but please hold the serum the serum is very very good in clearing your dark knuckles and i also use zero touch zero touch is, touch is also good in clearing your dark knuckles i'm going to be making a video of those two serums soon and i'll talk about it guys that is it for this video i hope i answered most of the question that people have been asking me so if you have more questions, you can drop it on the comment section. I will try my best and answer them and respond to them. So guys, if you love this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to my channel and i will see you on my next video